That there is a rare video game, boy. I know. Unfortunately, I'm like like flies on a piece of shit because I just can't stay away from this stuff. Couldn't they have at least made his chainsaw a different color than his body? It just blends in. It's like his arms are like tangled together or he has like a big jagged dick coming out of his chest. Like what the hell, man? It, it, it's a N -N. More like an ABGN. <laughs> I'm your most far out fan, man. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Whoa, man. So, so is this where, like, where you do all your videos? Yeah. Whoa, would you be able to like, give me a tour or something? <laughs> yeah, okay, well, here's here's <laughs> yeah. the games. Yeah. You see, here's the games. Uh, and uh, here, you know, all the systems oh, yeah. are right here. And uh, that's it. So if the tour is over, you can you can go. Yeah. Whoa, that's far out. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, your, your next game review is gonna be ET, right? Oh uh, no. Oh uh, no. Well, well, what are you gonna do next, huh? I don't know. Are you actually gonna do a Nintendo 64 games? <laughs> Eventually. Hey man, do you remember in your chronologically confused video, you like totally mentioned that part of that, like like John Rambo? Well, you know they're actually making a new Rambo movie, but I it's know. called John Rambo, man. <laughs> I yeah, was aware really of that. Is. You were totally right on the ball, right on the money, right on my ball. <laughs> hey man, I got a friend named uh, uh, Lester, and he, he like really wants to be in like one of your videos, man. Oh okay. Do, would you like uh, when you do the ET review? Like, could you just like totally like put his like name in the review, like in the middle of it when you like when you're like, talking about ET? Could you like? <laughs> software do you use? Because, you know, I actually would like to become a, a, an angry nerd reviewer just like you, but, like, I was thinking, like, what would be easier is if I just, like, got a knife, cut you open, and, like, got inside of you and actually became you. <laughs> what kind of house is this where you're babysitting? There's no furniture whatsoever. The carpet is puke green and shit brown, and you can find this black sword or something. I don't know. Maybe it's, like, a nightstick or a billy club. I'd suggest that it's a knife, but it's almost as big as your body. So your guess is as good as mine. It could be a big black dildo for all I care. All I got left to show you is what happens when you die. It's fucking hilarious. Your head disappears and you run around spurting pixelated blood out your neck. What you're looking at might be the first head decapitation ever in a video game. It's by far the most amusing part of the game and after only a few minutes you'll find yourself doing this deliberately. Come on, kill the kid, kill the kid. Yeah! Get him! Get him! There you go! Alright, now get me! Get me! Trick or treat! Oh! Oh, you want some trick or treat? Okay, here's some trick or treat for you. <laughs> uh. there, there you go, you little fuckers. There's some chocolate for you. That's not chocolate, that's poop. It's not chocolate, nor is it poop, it's shit. First you pooped my bag, and now you don't give me any candy. You're a dope. How about Frankenstein's monster? It's alive, it's alive! How about it's ass, it's ass! Fuck! Bastards. Oh no, no. Look, it's the poopy man! No, no, the poopy man's more like the boogie man. And he's gonna get you if you don't turn off this game. Play the game! No, I played the game play enough play tonight. Play the no. game! Play the game! Play the game! Alright, I'll play, play the game! game.
treated like shit tonight you don't know what shit is <laughs> it's like you get to play the games on a CD check out the graphics full motion video a posted video that isn't full motion 64 simultaneous colors 12.5 megahertz processor holy shit this thing is total fucking garbage how would you like it if I conduct the rest of the video like this full motion video my ass I'd rather be full fucking screen. Then there's this problem, the load time. Load of shit. You can go dump your ass in the time it takes. Let's see some firepower. I am personally going to call headquarters and find out what hole they dug you out of. The hole in your ass. Now we got Slam City. You want some of this? You got it. OK, I really don't know what I'm doing. Yo, crush him like a walnut and spring him on the salad. What are they saying? Okay. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. My name is Eddie. Hi, Eddie. I need your help. This is my building. And since the neighborhood really sucks... Like, this game sucks. So you're just switching different rooms and just... I, I don't know. What the fuck am I watching? God, shut up! Yeah, get the tennis racket. Strangely, this is the most amusing part of the game. So is this all you do? Just click around and try to catch these guys? Yes. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. I sometimes forget I'm playing a game. I think I'm watching a shitty horror movie. You got a scary guy in the shower. It's classic. Oh, she's in trouble. Uh-oh. You know what? I'm supposed to save her, but that spoils the fun. I don't believe what I just saw. I know, this game sucks. Man, I'm so bored I can't stand it. I know, I'm fucking bored. Should I say, oh, that was my frog, Horny. The frog's name is Horny? Now we got Soul Feast. More like Soul Feces. You're just going around beating the shit out of animals. Yeah, punch them, damn bats. Mm, yeah, fucking bitches. Kick them in the face. Mm, fucking rats. First you get this long cartoon. Some overly happy kid is walking with his dog. Everything's fine. Then some guy shows up, takes the kid away. And then the dog goes inside his giant metal dick with balls. Maybe someday I'll review some of these games in greater detail. But for most of them, there's really not much to say. Like this one, for example, Sewer Shark. For this game, all I have is a two-word review. Shit Shark. Think about it. In order to own a Sega CD, first you have to own the Genesis. And if that's not enough, Sega made another Genesis attachment, the 32X. Yes, this ugly mushroom-shaped piece of shit was the last effort from Sega to keep the Genesis alive to compete with its nemesis. You plop it on the top of the Genesis like they're mating. God, I mean, do you think that's enough add-ons? It doesn't even look aesthetically presentable. I mean, it's just like an ugly tumor. I mean, did they really need all this bullshit leeching on the Genesis? That poor Genesis is just thinking, oh, please, God, take this shit off me. It's like getting gang raped. Both of its slots are getting fucked at the same time. You got all the moves, the farting, the puking, the pissing, which I can't do, so if you want to try that out, be my guest. And the characters act like they have problems. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. The bottom line, the 32X sucked, and it was one of the biggest failures of all time. And just to celebrate their failure, or just for shits and giggles, they released a few CD32X games, which require both the 32X 
and the Sega CD. So if you happen to own both this pile of vomit and this piece of shit, you can mix the two together. Alright, this is Silver Surfer. Silver shit. He looks so stupid. I mean, what the hell's wrong with him? He's just like... Like... You know, it's so easy to die in this game, and every time you die, you have to see this. This sad, pathetic image of Silver Surfer just trembling in defeat. If you play this game, this image will be burned in your retina. And how appropriate, because this picture expresses better than words my feelings on this game. Just look at it. That sums up the whole thing. Now this is really a bitch. I mean, all these ghouls coming at me, they got bats, jack-o'-lanterns, and now ghosts. It's like another kindergarten Halloween game. They should have just called it whatever. Unless you've played this game, you have no idea how hard it is. Let me try to explain it, okay? Imagine if I were to draw a maze on a sheet of paper. I'm asking you to draw a line from the beginning of this maze to the end. You can't run into any dead ends, and you can't touch any of the lines. Now, while you're trying to do this, I'm moving the maze to the left. It would drive you fucking nuts. And if that's a bit too theoretical to accept, then let me explain it this way. Imagine playing Mega Man 2. Imagine you have no health bar. Imagine if you get hit one single fucking time, you're dead. And is that fair? It's challenging, yes. But it's not to say that unless you're a hardcore expert, you're gonna take a few hits sooner or later. Now, I'm not done. Imagine on top of that, multiply the number of enemies on the screen and give them more hit points. Imagine if you were playing Zelda and you weren't allowed to get hit once or touch any of the walls or blocks. I mean, this game just pukes snot up my ass. I mean, it's like you touch the top of the building, you die. You touch the ceiling, you die. You touch the floor, you die. Too far to the right, you die. Too far to the left, you die. You die, you die, you die, 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 die. Oh, God, I can't fucking stand it. This game is so hard, it would actually be easier to go outside in a thunderstorm and try to dodge rain. It would be easier to walk barefoot without your toes or heels touching the floor. It would be easier to pick fly shit out of pepper while wearing boxing gloves. The fact that you can get hit only once pretty much means that you're weaker than every other enemy in the game. How do you die from just touching a wall? I can understand if he's flying at like 200 miles per hour and he crashes into the wall, but the fact that he just touches the wall and dies is just ridiculous. I never read any of the comics, so I don't know what Silver Surfer's powers are, but isn't he supposed to be pretty strong? So why'd they make him into a whip? Why is he fucking up rubber ducks and weeping like a crybaby? It's like some sort of fucking joke. Like, what if they had Bruce Lee tripping over his own shoelaces? It's a fucking insult. This game should have been classic, but instead, it's worthless. It's as worthless as this fucking LJN poster I have back here. Man, I would just piss and shit all over this fucking game. In fact, just thinking about it makes me feel like having an anal evacuation. Thanks for sending me this crappy game. Coal would have been nice, or even better, a bag of poop. So thanks. There's really no consistency in this game at all. For example, most of your enemies, you can stun them and then just pass by. But this asshole, it doesn't work. You shoot him in the balls and then he still has his way. Here, get up the ladder. Get up the fucking ladder. There's birds shitting all over me. Get up the fucking ladder. Fuck, 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 fuck. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, you miserable fucking cunt, you piece of shit! Shitty games, all my life! Shitty fucking games! I hate shitty fucking games, and I hate shitty fucking Christmas, cause shitty fucking Christmas means more shitty fucking games! Humbug! Bah! Fucking humbug into hell! Greetings, nerd! Forgiveness intrusion, poor as I, the ghost of a Christmas past!